Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Violet Baby Lock. I think we're on episode 12 around there. And today we are going to take on Boots. The big booted woman herself of Team Star who cannot walk in those boots one bit. But she still pulls it off because, you know, that's what she's doing. And we're going to head over and we're going to get this going. Because that is the aim for this episode. So what I've actually done is I have modified our team slightly. I have done a little bit of leveling. Just a smidgen. Um, and basically I've put a full team here that's going to be suitable for... Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Suitable for uh, battling against her. So we've basically got everything that's good against fire. We've got our own fire type here. Which I know will sponge up some hits if needed. And, yeah, let's get going. Oh, no, I did not mean to do that one. I meant to press A. And we're just going to zoom off across here. And I'm pretty sure that the entrance is just around this corner. Where we're probably going to get interrupted by the director who's dressing as a 18-year-old. The original catfish, you know. But here we are. So... Cutscene. When it wants to load. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't be here. This place belongs to Team Star. If you don't get clear real quick, they I have to come at you with self-defense. You get me? I'm not turning back. I ain't going back. No. Time to self-defense and snort my way around. Uh, it's definitely not what that said, but I'm going with it. I'm, I'm doing it. I also I'm pretty sure I haven't had the intro for this bit, unless I have, and I'm just completely missing something. But here we go. So water pulse is gonna be super effective. Probably gonna take this thing out. Yeah, it does. There we go. Bye, Hound Hour. I do like Hound Hour though, it's one of my favourite Pokemon. Uh, I do like all kind of the wolfy Pokemon, which obviously, you know, I love wolves, so. Yeah, not in the furry way, because I'm not a furry. And I know that there's been that misconception in the past. The amount of times that I've had someone comment, Are you a fairy? No, I am not a fairy. Um, I defended myself alright, but it wasn't enough. We barely defended anything, mate. So. No, you're not allowed to evolve. No, you do not evolve. You stay. And to be fair, this is probably the last time we're going to see Hermit. Can't think of another time where Hermit's going to be usable. You're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid that declared war on Team Star? Call me Midnight. Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I go back in there and reverse the my crew. Let them know. Hashta la vista, I'm going to star you up. So yeah, here we come. We're in, we're in the flaming territory. Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fire for his base. I thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm free, but it seems you're all set. Fume, fume. What? It's a char cadet. Fume, fume. Is that you, Charlos? Oh, that's cute. Whew. I thought so. What are you doing here? Do you know this little fella? This is Charlos, the char cadet. Whoom. He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Ah, oh, Charles, wait. He ran off. Looks like he may have some connection to Team Fire Star's fire crew. I better chase him after him. Don't worry. I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead in the base midnight. Yep, so... Oh, Cassiopeia! I see you're done with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Stationed inside the Team Star base is the Skela, Skela Squad. The boss Mela is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way, though her methods are heavy-handed. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are working hard inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once you've no one left to help Mela take her keep her cool, she'll come out and confront you. Ring the bell on the gates when you're ready to kick this off. Time to wipe them off the map. Which I believe these guys are all like part of a constellation. Stars in the constellation, which is really quite cool. Um, so yeah, I am getting ready to challenge. My first free Pokemon in the team are... 
Yo, guys, keep an eye out. This kid's got in and he's gonna wreck us. He's gonna cause some problems. 30 Pokemon in 10 minutes. That's fine. There we go. Right, so let's start off over here. Oh, no, I need to... Okay, there we go. That's six already. I don't like how this doesn't respond super quickly to things. Let's get these Hound Hours out. There we go. All three. I love how Psyduck just runs through. How how are we looking? Oh, we're, we're all full health still. We are demolishing. There we go. Here are some more. I'm going to let you two out here. Although, we are taking a little bit of damage off Wake Coco here, which is not a good idea. Right, there we go. Come on, side up. Off you go. Come on, help. That's 23. Let's get these guys going. There we go. Let's get these two out. There we go. And then there's some few more over here. And we're basically done. Alright, come on outside up. There we go. 29 and 30. That did not take any, anything. There was nothing. Our defenses are reached all up to the boss now. I don't know where that, <laughs> that kind of shouting at you. Oh, I just wish we had all these rever. Although, it's the rev rooms at the front, and then you've got. Oh, they're Varooms. I couldn't think of it in the last episode. They're Varooms. I love that you got the two at the back as well. Team Fires. No. Team Stars Fire Boss Mela. So, you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid, and I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. Yeah. There. She has got... Are they quick balls? I think they're quick balls. Torkoal! Which I think this is the first team star member we saw, potentially. Right here, right now, you're going down! And we've got sunlight, which is not going to be useful for me at all. Um, we're going to start off with water pulse. <clears throat> that does nothing. Please don't have solar beam. This move will touch you till there ain't nothing about ash left. Torture, not touch you. Flame wheel. Okay, that's not going to do a great deal. I think that was the rest of the Skidar squad. Skidar? Right. Sensible is for me to go and salt babe here. That's the sensible play. I don't know if salt babe can learn salt cure. I don't know if that's exclusive to the later renditions. Good, you didn't burn me. I think now... It's time to rock slide. That didn't kill you? Wow. Flame wheel. Okay. I think we're going to rock slide again. I could have recovered. I could have recovered, but I didn't really want to. Um, I am a little bit concerned at what Rever Room's going to do. I don't know if it has a ground type attack. And burn to a crisp just yet. Look at my pepper hair. Um, right. We gotta go for it. We gotta go f overheat. Uh, that shouldn't kill me. No, that doesn't kill me. Special attack is harshly fallen now, which is good. So I can now use um the speed rise. Why did it speed rise? If it's going to use another fire type attack, I could go into 
Chuck here. Chuck could be a sensible play because he's going to absorb up that fire type attack. Just wait until the um. What's called the wait until the sun's gone. Again, I'm recording this straight off last episode. I'm still fried. Blazing Torp. Okay, that doesn't do a great deal. Um, Sunlight's faded. Good. So it's not going to do as much damage now, but it does get a speed boost still. And again, I think River Room would have been fantastic with having these, like, specific typings and stuff. I just, I wish that we got it. Like, it just would be great. I'm going to use Hyper Voice here. I'm going to see how much it does. That does less, so good. Okay, Hyper Voice doesn't do that much, but... It does something. We're going to keep on going. Blazing Talk. A crit, annoyingly. I think we can do get another one off without the crit being a risk. Speed boost is fine. Speed boost we can deal with. Is this just going to keep on using Blazing Talk? Because that's that's all, it being, all it's going to do. Um, I think... Who do I want to go into? Hermit could be sensible, but the bulldozers kind of cancel out after a little bit. Straws potentially is a good idea. Star Slash is also... Let's just see who has the highest defense. So, let's just check. Hold on, wait, where's my stats? Defense 44, 61, 48... 27, 40, 26. So Diglett's not going to take very well to that. But actually, Psyduck could take quite well to it. And it is resisted still, so it's not going to do much. So I think Psyduck coming back out. Straws is going to be doing something. Alright, Blazing Talk. Okay, that doesn't do anywhere near enough. But it does burn me, which is a massive pain. So we can get one of these off. Oh, can we? I'm gonna... I'm gonna risk it with Terra. Gonna risk it. We might lose straws here. We might lose straws. Okay, Screech, that's fine. And it misses anyways, that's fine, that's great. That's great, that's fantastic. Water Pulse, go on, kill it. Kill it, take it out. Come on, you're terrored. Oh, it's so close. Um, I've got a heal, I can't risk it. This is too risky, That's that's just too much risk. That's just too risky for my liking. See, that would take... How much damage did that do? That did 20. So I think I would have survived it, but, you know, sometimes you just can't risk it. Sometimes, especially in a game like this where I don't have many encounters. Um, and I'm, I'm still trying to figure out the encounters, to be fair. But we have just defeated Team... Team... Skidar? <laughs> I can't actually remember their name. Oh, I can't remember these. I'm not a, a, a um, astronomy nerd. There we go. There we go. Side up one. Very, very nice. And Hermit's probably going to try and evolve again. Ugh, is this really how it's going to end? What a hassle. a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Put it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get a bunch of Charcadet to evolve, but that ought to be enough to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunky Mel, Mel rolling. Glad tidings indeed. It's not so, Ortego. I'm just surprised she's not no hot air. Oh, shut up and snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? Oh, is it really better, Mello? 
Being rude and saying mean things is literally a deal. That's not true, Otto. The girls at the academy have always been jealous of how cute Millie is. She just puts on the surly attitude to so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say her surely attitude is what people love her for. Well, come on, not you too, Eri. How about we leave it to the folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star is finally happening. And the big bus, what? Pre oh no, and the big bus, what? Prey is their plan. They already got in touch with the squirrel bullies and asked them to get over, head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm stoked. This frill's burning me right up. I burned through everything I had, and now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That side of yours really let us have it. <laughs> Just the way she walks. <laughs> Being man power is a huge deal, so here, take this star badge and be proud of yourself. Just, I just can't get over the way she walks. Oh, did she slap me? Oh, no, she's shaking my hand. <laughs> and she's just obviously shaking it really, really hard. Um, okay. <laughs> While I'm at it, you can have this TM2. Not like I'm going to use it. Flame charge. That could be handy. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Psyduck. You got what you came for. Now leave me alone. Ah, oh, you're Miller from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Woo! A Charcadet. Wait! Well, if it ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? Seems to came to see to this base looking for you. You did? It's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less... Um, what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea what Charles wanted to visit you? Charles. To me, it looks like you're saying he wants you to come back. Just show it already, would you? The way Team Star has holed itself up on these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First, uh, first I heard a stupid rumour like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. Then, what about your modified car you were motoring around in just now? The Starmobile, we made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before. And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star, not Operation Starfall. No, it's the first time hearing of it. Huh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. The law. <laughs> okay. So that is another boss defeated. I assume we're going to get spoken to by Cassiopeia. Well done, Midnight. Midnight, it's me. I take it the Miller Star Badge is now in your possession. I see. Now there's no boss of the to leave the team. The rest of the team shouldn't last long. Mela. Sorry, I got distracted for a second here again. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. 6,000? Wow. No oh, more TMs. Use those new TMs to stream your Pokemon even further. Have my supply unit rep meet you shortly to deliver some bonus materials, too. Hello, it's me again, from the supply unit. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> hey, stop that! Somebody help! Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Blah, he drooled all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? I have no idea. Huh, it's amazing so calm with a giant question mark of a Pokemon on your side. And uh, before I forget, here's your reward. Lots of Pokemon materials. Um, your name's Midnight, right? Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? They're, they're pretty strong, to be fair. They are strong. Like, they have, they make you think. 
Interesting. You know, some of the rumours say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. Tell me about it, I'll find that, I'll find that hard on myself. <laughs> but then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't fall, face alone. But uh, that's just the info I got hacking in other students' social media accounts. I also found that there was a secret mastermind behind the fine bosses, someone who recruits them in the, in the first place. Hmm, I don't know what I'm taught as much. Now my throat kind of hurts. So um, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. I will get to them eventually. I don't think I'm actually close to taking another one down. I think the next bit... That is a Corva Square. The next thing, and I want to do before we wrap up this video, is I would like... I assume I am still in a bit of a, bit of a pickle. But if I go in my boxes, actually, I want to put... Right. Oh, no. Wait, that wasn't what I was going to do. Hermit, you're out. I'll put you back up in the top of the top of the pots. And we are going to go catch ourselves a crab roller, which I believe we can catch by the river quite far up. Um, but I need to hold on. I need to look. There is a little island which is just there. So what I want to do is get to that island because that's where the crab will live. So let's dash on up over here. And I think this is an area that we haven't actually caught a Pokemon in. I don't actually know at this point because the areas aren't very clearly. It doesn't really state necessarily when you're going to a new area. Is what I've found. So... Unless it's like, you know, like a mount the mountain or something. I don't actually know. Oh, there's an item. Let's get the item. There we go. Oh, that's a dealing. I suppose by Nuzlocke rules, as I'm treating this as the area, I kind of have to catch this thing. But I actually don't really want it. <laughs> like, um... Well, that puts a bit of a problem to my plans. Uh, we're going to thunder wave and we're going to catch it. Ah, uh, that's going to hurt. Ugh, but they both crit. Right, thunder wave and we're going to throw a ball there. That is shameful because I don't think I can catch crab ball now. That is really, really unfortunate. But oh well, I guess that's what I get for being a bit of an idiot. I'm going to throw a great ball out. Two. Three. Shazam. Let's catch... What are we going to call this thing? Uh... We're going to call you... Just oops. <laughs> oops, didn't mean, to get, didn't mean to run into you, you're oops. Oh no, I don't want you in the party. There you go, you can go to the box. Right, I suppose with that it makes sense for me to finish off this video. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I'm going to get out of here, so have a good one and I'll see you soon.